Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to install RetroArch on your Android phone. So, the RetroArch is actually in the Play Store, so just open that. Then, just type in RetroArch at the top. And you want to install this first one by libretro. Right guys, so RetroArch is now installed. Um, now you want to find any kind of ROM you want. Just have a look on MU Paradise. There's loads of ROMs and sections here. I'm gonna get a SNES ROM and a Game Boy Advance ROM. So you can just go on the category and just get any game you guys want. Once your ROMs are downloaded, you just wanna check they downloaded successfully and it's the correct file. So open up ES File Explorer Pro or just ES File Explorer. Go into your download folder. There should be two zip files here. Where it, well, how many games you got. Just open them up using ES Zip Viewer. Just check that there's one file in there and the one file in there should be the ROM. So once you've got your ROMs, you want to open up um, RetroArch. It's going to ask you to allow some stuff and access your media on your device. That's fine. Once you've got that, you want to go to Load Core. So you guys shouldn't see any cores here. So you want to head over to Download Core. Right, so once you're on Download Core, you want to scroll for the two cores that you've got. So I've got a Game Boy core. So all you have to do is just tap it to install. As you can see, it's installing down there. And I also got a SNES emulator core. So let's just have a look for that. I always go for this one, B SNES, so I'm just going to install that. Right guys, so those cores are now installed. You just want to back out. Then you want to go up to load core again. As you can see, they should all show up here now. So let's go for MGBA first. So we're just going to tap that to load into it. Then you want to go down to load content. This is where you want to find your ROM. As you can see, I've got storage, so that's emulated. That is where all my Android files are stored. So I'm going to go into that, then go into download. Then select my Street Fighter game for the Game Boy Advance. Click load archive and the game should load up fine. Right guys, so it's always better to play these games in landscape mode. That's just how they're supported and they just look a lot better. So let's just click, give this game just a quick demo. Let's just get into the game as quick as possible. Here you go, so let's just do a um, small fight just to test out how good this emulator runs. There you go, so that was very fast, the knockout, I won that one. So if you guys want to exit your ROM, you just want to have a look at the top, you can actually see a small RetroArch icon, you just want to tap that. So once you tap that, it's just going to back out to the RetroArch menu, and you guys can just hit the close content option. Then you can just go back, and you'll notice that you're back on the RetroArch home screen. Right guys, so now let's just give that um, SNES emulator a try. So let's go up to load core up here. Now we're gonna choose SNES instead of the Game Boy Advance. Then we're just gonna go down to load content and we just want to find our game again. So here it is, Super Mario World. Let's just go on to load, load archive, current core. So as you can see it loads, oh this, all these emulators have fully working sound as well, I can't use it because of copyright reasons. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. As you can see, there's lots of other options you guys can browse and have a look at. Um, there's a few tabs down here and that sort of thing. 
but nothing that important. This is just very basic for actually playing the games. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.